Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to my new series. By a spot of popular demand, well, when popular I say maybe about three or four people, I'm bringing you Shadowrun Dragonfall, the Director's Cut Edition. So, first I would like to say a massive, massive thank you to everybody who enjoyed the previous series and watched and left so many kind and thoughtful comments. It really does make my day when that happens. And I will continue giving you all this lovely content to the best of my ability. So let's get into things. Shadowrun Dragonfall Direct's cut. Year's 2054. The promise of opportunity and anonymity draws you to the free city of Berlin, the Flux State. A grand experiment in social order. Corporations tread carefully here. Even the great dragon Lofia only has so much sway in constantly revolving power structure in Berlin. The perfect place for a savvy shadow runner to disappear and begin anew. If only it was that simple. So, we will just keep it on normal. As uh, I do have a tendency to get killed a lot. And um, I was asking around, I did, you know, send in a few questions of what should I be, and people were like, um, you know, maybe a shaman or something, but I really don't know how to play them. Um, maybe for, uh, I think when I finally get to Hong Kong, I'll do a shaman or something, but they said that a bit more tumness wouldn't go amiss. So oh, I am looking at the uh, Decker. Like, oh, I'm a lady. Oh yes, I've chosen the lady one. That was my. Sorry, my bad. Do we have any new portraits? As everybody looks ugly as fuck. Oh, yeah, that's one. Not too bad. Oh yeah, we have a lot of new portraits. Wow. So many. Oh. Oh my. Walking away. All the humans. Hmm. But no, I think I might just, you know, keep it with the good old. Elven Rigger. So, if you don't remember from last time, we ended up becoming the head of security for Telestrian Corp. Let's, uh... Let's assume things didn't go that well, and so we've had to assume a new identity. And, uh... Pop off down to good old Germany. Spend our karma. There we go, close combat, throwing weapons, intelligence, always good. So we've got all this, available karma. And now we want just charisma. You can never have too much charisma, so we'll go for shadow running charisma. And... Getting a little bit of decking is always, always a sensible idea. Two decking. My floors are lovely, I've got very nice decking. But I'm pissing awful at ranged combat. Uh, two decking, can I... Okay, I'll just give myself even a little bit of pistol skill. Okay, this playthrough is pretty damn blind at the moment. And our s I've only paid like the first level of this. Our second etiquette. We've got Shadow on it. Let's go via security. Always good to talk to us. Security forces! And we'll go for good old Max again.
So yes, things didn't go well in Fleshing Corpse, however. Changed my identity, assumed a new face, and fucked off down to Germany. As, uh, you don't really want to piss off old Fleshing Corpse. Oh. So here we are, for Harfield Manor Run. Life was good. Easy jobs, regular pay, a reliable crew. But things went south and you had to drop off the grid, put a bullet in the past and start fresh somewhere new. The promise of opportunity and anonymity draw draws you to the free state of Berlin. The flux sta state, a grand experiment in social order. Corporations tread carefully here. Even the great dragon Lofia only has so much sway in a constantly evolving power structure of Berlin. The perfect place for a savvy shadow on it to disappear and pick in a new. And as luck would have it, home of your old partner in crime, Monica Schaefer. It's your third run with Monica and a team, an old castle. Hold fast. One hour east of Berlin, perched on a hill overlooking the countryside. The job is a standard smash and grab. Crack the vault, grab the data, and get out in one piece. A mediocre payday, but work is work, and a team gathers for Monica's pre-run briefing. You pause to take in your surroundings. And a sip of beer as well. Harfield Manor, 2054, one hour east of Berlin. Your state grounds are silent, save for a faint whistling of wind. Your team gathers near a side entrance to, to the old castle hold fast. Cloaked in darkness, the night is peaceful. You know it won't last. You know what it for what it is. A pleasant illusion that will be shattered at the sound of first gunshot. Listen up, Fox. Monica Schaefer, you ran with her back in the day. Now she's your team leader. Your decking skills may be sharp, but hers are Nova Hot. Running with Monica is like taking a masterclass in IC but breaking. We're on a tight timetable. I want to enter the estate, find the basement, open the data vault, and extract the files and bolt. Ten minutes, top to bottom. Trying to get in hot in time for worm talk, love? Dietrich, shaman. Old man of team. He smiles at her, his facial tattoos arriving in the moonlight. Monica's eyes twinkle with mischief. Maybe. How many times have I told you? You can't trust anything that comes out of a dracon's mouth. That tried trash will rot your bran. She grins. It's educational. Besides, this should be a milk run. Security is supposed to be light, few automatic weapons, no armor. With a little luck, they'll never know we're here. Just like old times, eh? Monica smile returns, more whistly this time. The moonlight catches her face at a strange angle. <laughs> yeah, just like old times. Milk run or not, we should be careful. Glory. Razor clawed street samurai. Voice is cold and neutral. Her expression placid. They may only be private security, but the bullets don't know that. I can patch you up if I have to, but I'd rather not have to. You people need to relax. We're professionals, remember? Monica raises her arm and speaks into her wrist-mounted comlink. A darkened face shimmers on the view screen. Iger, are you in position? The comlink crackles and a response comes back, low and soft. Softer than you'd expect from a troll. Affirmative. The alarm lines have been cut, and I have a clear line of fire at the estate service entrance. When you exit the building, the path will be clear. Excellent. Thank you, Iger. Just doing my job. Iger, out. The comlink goes dark. Monica winks at you as she drops her arm. See? We're professionals. Alright, people. Enough chatter. Our cloud wants data from the vault, so we get him the data from the vault. Quick, quiet, and quick. You'll sit quick twice. She grins. Worm talk is on tonight. Glory raises an eyebrow slightly. I told you. It's educational. Grab your stuff and we'll head in. Okay, here we go. We've got a little, basically a Volkswagen Mini of armor plates and all that shit. Grab my weapons. Um, I'll have a pistol. And the rest of my kit. Ah, uh, hair tumness. <laughs> Grab your running gear of a worn duffel bag from a worn duffel bag near the weaponry. Bumona trauma kit. Let's see what we have available. 
Fischetti Security, Cheap Common Pistol, Bjormona, Simple Drone Repair Kit, and a uh, old Mr. Tumnus. Sorry, buddy, we had to leave your chassis back in Seattle. Let's check things out. So we've got a castle, solar paneling, which is uh, not what you'd really expect. Barbed wire fences and the like. I'm assuming that the Heritage Society would have something to say about this. Can't tell. If oh, these are hedges shaped into the shape of knights. Angels with liars on top of lions. This place has got some pretty heavy power consumption needs, judging from the uh, amount of panels that they've strapped to it. Let's get in. God, I hope it's not owned by a fucking dragon or something. Okay. Quick, quiet and quick. Private museum. The owner of this estate must have money to burn. Holy shit, he's got a dinosaur. Complete skeleton of a theropod dinosaur. It appears to be genuine. A remarkably variety of remarkably well preserved Slavic artifacts. The vase in this case looks both very old and very valuable. A fine scroll work of lapis and gold leaf decorates its exterior, and the interior shimmers with the organic beauty of an abalone shell. Your fix could probably move this thing in a heartbeat. I can't help but notice that the glass casing the glass encasing it looks awfully flimsy. Okay, Vase, you're coming with me. God, I hope this doesn't set off an alarm. As you draw your arm back to smash the glass, Dietrich catches you. His gnarled hand tightens around your wrist. Not a smart move, Kleiner. We have a job to do. Hauling a great big vase around isn't part of it. Dietrich offers you a toothy grin. Unless the vase figured into your plans to complete the mission somehow. Did you have a vase-oriented strategy that I was unaware of? <laughs> well, I was thinking we could use it to smuggle Monica into the data vault. Dietrich stifles a chuckle. An excellent plan, Max. I fully support it. We should get moving, though. We mustn't keep the others waiting. Yeah, he has a point. Well, what's this? The case is a display case. It's a democrat... Ah. The ca cask in the display case is decorated with inlaid panels of ivory scrimshaw. Ooh, rather fancy. There, Europa, you are classy. Right, what do we have? Dragon statues. Those aren't good. This is go. Oh, this place is so owned by a dragon. Or oh, fuck. Sorry, guys. Oh my god, new interface. Tumnus, online. Get around the side, please, and... Ooh. Well, in that case, that's all well and good. Monica, you move to here. Then use this really flimsy plant as cover. Glory, can you access this terminal? Shit. Um. Okay, buddy. You go over here. Dietrich. Fuck. Okay, uh, Monica might be our hacker, but shit. <laughs> Open fire. I'll go down this direction. Tumnus, go over here. Shit, I've forgotten your name. Mercy. Or sadness. 
something a bit emo. Do you take? Dragon Slayer Idol. No, nothing. Aim throw. One blade, one target. Fuck. Okay, let's fiddle with this terminal. We don't have enough decking. Shit. Uh, <laughs> Mr. Tumnus. Please get closer. Heavy cover on him, so engage. Oh. <coughs> Monica, you pop off a shot. Glory. That was your freaking name. Be so kind, move over this way. Monica, you're back down here. I will blow you up. Well, at least he's done with. Shit. Dietrich's been hit. I'm just move around the back of him and flank. Excellent. Hey Monica, can you crack this? The corner of her mouth lifts into a smirk. Step aside. Oh, and Mags, I've got to ask. Is the display on your trid flashing 12 o'clock back home? Haha, <laughs> fuck you. Monica doesn't even bother jacking into a terminal and her side deck remains slung over her shoulder. Her fingers flicker over Terminal's virtual keyboard and a moment later a happy chime chirps out of a security node speaker. Bingo! Doors open! Let's go! Alright, well we've already pissed off local security. Anything through here? Monica? Jack into this terminal. Oh, we have bad guys. Wakey, wakey, my little friend. An assassin. Hey, my poor little assassin. Monica, finish him off. Okay. We're happy, happy. Hit him again. This is nice, they introduced the whole concept of the Matrix and jacking in a bit quicker than they did with old Shadow on the turns. Access the data store, see what we have. Antiquities delivery schedule. Alright, get out of there. Excellent. What does it do? Valuable shipment of antiquities will be arriving at the Seattle docks. Useful information for someone who can take advantage of it. Yeah, I guess so. Right, let's head east. Oh, god damn it. Tumnus, online. Get through this vent. See what you can do, little buddy. Come 
Monica get over here. Our only troop of long range bloody weaponry. Glory, you're there. Dietrich, get cover behind this pillar. <coughs> Ow! Well, Dietrich just got flanked. <coughs> Jesus, Dietrich. Not a good day to be goddamn Dietrich. Okay, Monica. <coughs> Kill. Him. God damn it. What the hell's down here? Why is this place open? Fuck, we could have just snuck all the way through there. That's a turn pretty much wasted. Dietrich, you go back here. Patch yourself up, buddy. Oh, that's a big fucker. Oh, he has a nice gold elephant. Yep, that is most definitely what we describe as a big fucker. Hello. Let me introduce you to my friend, Tumnus Bot. Eat this. Oh, that's fucked him over. Oh, you do not shoot my robot. Okay, Glory, you get over here. Do me a favour, rip that fucker to shreds. God damn it. Um. Done with. You, you're done with. Flanking seems to be playing a lot more into the tactics of this one. I'll move up here. Tumnus bot, you move over here. Get rid of him. She is not liking my Tumnus bot. Eat this, you security mage, bitch. Oh, I wish I had the description security mage. That sounds like a fun job. Oh, glory! Shreddy, shreddy, rippy, rippy fun time. <laughs> Fucking Nora. She just literally ripped a hole in that man. Well, I do believe this is the elevator down, if my memory serves me well, and we have some shiny bones and a golden elephant here. I think that might be a very nice place to leave it. Well, thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen, for watching. Do tell me what you think. I hope you enjoyed. This is Jabbering Magpie, signing out for now. Tatty bye.